up everybody? Long time no see. So we got the car all disassembled down to the bare frame. We have been working even though we haven't been making videos. Winter break's over, so what better to do than make a video from Rocket Chassis. Anybody want some scrap? You like that orange one? I, I think they put it out here. They put that orange one out here to tease me. Hey here, Eddie. Man, what a helpful hand. There you go, boys. You are the man. <laughs> yes, sir. Help a brother out. Let me get this in. Let me get this. Well, guy, I don't care what you say about you. That's a good man. All right. We'll work on it. That was easier than when we loaded it. Yeah. But I got gave myself a hernia when we loaded it. <laughs> Taking notes. Yeah, when you got brand new stuff sitting in front of you, if you don't write it down, you won't remember. Lesson learned in years past. I wish yours was at this stage. Hmm. Devin. They're gonna fix a couple things. So they're on the they're on the repair stage right now and check some things out. It needs a new underslung rail over here because it's got a little dent in it. Get out of the way or it'll run us over. Say all in all, it's say all in all, it's in pretty good shape. Just gonna do a couple, get a couple updates, and move some tabs around, and we'll be on our way. So back there, are they building a the new one? We're building a new one back there. We'll go say hi to Scott here in a minute. Everybody's everybody's doing something right now. Everybody's busy, and they got their job. So. So we come down here and it's you know it's it's an off day for us. It's a fun day. We go to Rocket. All these guys they come here every day and go to work. And we're it, annoying this them. This is their job. <laughs> <laughs> so you just put a piece of tubing in there. It's a CNC plasma. It's gonna feed it through there. It's gonna form it, bend it, cut it off. I assume they got a program in there for every every bar that's on the car. So they're gonna, they're gonna make us a couple couple bars. So right there's their stock rack. That's how that's where you know, everything starts on these cars. And then they go through the weld shop. Get the car all welded up like that one looks like it's almost done. And they ship them off a powder coat and then they come back and start assembling. entire process of building the late model. Start to finish from tubing to writing your check. So this is basically where we do all the new cars. Uh, start here. We got two guys on this jig. Uh, 
all the new cars are on the you know same jig same everything so they'll uh you know cut it out over there it basically starts in a pile over there they cut it if that machine notches it uh you know pretty much cuts it for them they grab it bring it over here this is where all the new cars are good like I said they're all you know same jig and then over here we keep this one open for repairs uh updates stuff like that so uh same same deal two guys on this jig um and that's about it over here so what do you guys do when there's not a car on there getting repaired uh like them guys will build bumpers t-bars you know just parts lift bars parts of stuff to stock on the shelf uh fuel cell cages just something to keep, always keep the shelves you know stocked up so. they're, they're rolling the hypothetical chassis out the door <laughs> they don't, it'll get a powder coat they usually get straight to powder coat then it'll come back and then they usually when they come back who right. takes them to, who takes them down to powder coat uh usually either steve or one of the weld shop guys will run it over for us and then they'll bring it back and this is what it looks like when it comes back it's sitting here with all the pieces and everything else and from here we roll it inside yeah and then like back here and when they first come in usually one of the first things they do will our assembly guy that's scared of the camera he uh <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll put all the bolt ons like T bars, bumpers, shock mounts, basically anything that's just bolted on. And then, like, either Brent, Eddie, or Ryan, they'll uh, start putting brake lines, uh, cockpit, kind of make it easy for Will. And then from there, they kind of go to this stage, which Will basically assembles everything while he can, while he has room to get in here. He'll start with the front, go to the back. Um, like I said, he puts all the front suspension. Everything, everything that he's bolted on here, and then the body guys kind of take it over from there. So, so that's I'll all you. <laughs> I'll take it over from there. And, and, uh, and like, like Kurt said, we'll start, we'll get a cockpit of the car, we'll do all the tub and everything, then we do all the wiring, the gauges. Uh, if they get a seat, we'll mail a seat in it. And then we'll start the deck from there, which we usually start, we always start from like the outside kind of end. And then we get all that done, and then we go from the deck and cockpit till we'll hang the sides, and then we'll do uh, put the roof and windows on, and then we'll start, we'll get the nose on, do the nose, fender tops, hood, and all that, and then we'll finish touching it up a little bit, and clean the nose up a little bit, and uh, basically send it out the door then, other than they head into to Steve or Kurt to take care of the, the, payment, the payment part of it. And, uh, and like and realistically, you know, it depends on how you know how crazy things are, but you know, we'll start when they come in as a bare frame, these guys can make it look like this within two, three days. Ready to go right out the door. So. Can you do yours in two, three days? I no. wish. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> but I got brains to pick here, I'll text them and say, where's this go? Yeah, yeah. That's what we're like, that's what we're here for. So. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a bomb went off on it. We have about every tool in the shop on this guy's car, so. Yeah. Yeah, not a, not a proud uh, move. <laughs> so we're gonna come over here. Yeah. A lot cleaner <laughs> car over here. <laughs> basically how it is we'll do the cockpit deck get all that in there and uh, then we'll hang the sides on it the bracing uh, then I'll usually do fender tops filler stick the nose on it get that all done then we'll button up the button up the sides and do all the bracing finish tightening it up and get her peeled and cleaned off and then it's uh, basically out the door then and that's either Kurt or Baker take care takes care of the rest of it. It's easy as that. Yeah <laughs> Fixed up. She's all pretty now. Yeah. Those nice welds. Got some new tabs. Nothing too too major. Just a bar here and there.
Okay, everybody, we're in uh, Rocket Chassis Shop uh, t-shirt and merchandise room. So they got some new merch. And the merch I'm going to show you is brand new. And uh, if you go to rocketchassisshop.com and enter the code RM50, you'll get 20% off two or more items. So if you buy two or more items, you'll get 20% off your whole order. There's a new blue, there's the back, hoodie, and there's a black one. Now this is sweet. I didn't know they had these. I didn't see these yet. So there's the front. Look at the back. I'm partial to orange. I think these hoodies are cool. They have those in t-shirts too. T-shirts too. Yeah. So Rocket Chassis Shop, 20% off two or more items. RM50 is the code. Go there. All right, so that's our trip to Rocket. Hope you guys learned something on how a late model is built and the process that it goes through to, to get to the stage of out the door. And, uh, we're gonna put this one back together here and we're gonna take you along for the ride. So if you're new to the channel, we do behind the scenes videos, dirt late model racing from Bellevue, Ohio. And uh, just tune in the channel and we'll, we'll show you how we're gonna put together this late model from bare frame all the way up to race ready.